love this is Cupid. Stop. I told you to stop calling this a number. I'm at work. Come on. I've got a big job to do. <sighs> I told you, not during work hours. I'll see you after. Gosh, this is like my big Santa day. I'm basically Santa Claus. Just, you know, <laughs> adorable. I will call you later. I have a client right now. Stop it. I'll text you. Okay, bye. Ugh. Hello, I'm Cupid. What brings you here? Um, I see. Did you have an appointment? You did. Okay. Alright, let's see. Could you please tell me your name? just get, uh, you know, people who've been married for 20 years forgot it was Valentine's Day and just want to pick up some flowers. But you've got a full date. Yeah. Well, do you mind if I, uh, ask you a few questions first to just get to know you and the, the situation, the date, everything? Okay. Yes, well, I know you submitted your application and I was able to kind of create uh, a nice little um, event list for you, um, but there are some minor details that I just want to kind of hash out, okay? So we're gonna, if you've got like an hour to spare, yeah, okay, so <laughs> are you okay? I just need to ask that because you don't mind me getting a little bit closer. You, uh... <laughs> well, no offense. <laughs> you don't look your greatest. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure that you should go out tonight? Well, because if you're sick, you're gonna get your date sick. Especially if you wanna, you know, smooch a little bit. You gotta be careful. Yeah, I mean, look, it's also the middle of the week, you know, most people are doing it this weekend, that's totally fine, nothing wrong with it. Okay, so, you know, um, it's okay to reschedule. I doubt your date is gonna be mad. I mean, do they seem like the type of person to go out during the weekends, or are they a little bit more reclusive? There you go. That's a good start. Reclusive is good. So they probably won't have plans on Friday. Friday, Saturday, whatever it is. <sighs> Alright. Well, just think about it, okay? Because you really, you were just not, you were just not looking good. And I think I saw you last year. You came to me last year, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I had blonde hair last year. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm getting back to it, okay? Anyway... Trust me, I miss it too, okay? Anyway, let me go ahead and start with a few questions, okay? Um, let's see. What's your crush's name? I, I might have them in the database, and I can take a look at their profile and see their likes, dislikes, their personality traits, all that. Okay. Sophie. And what's Sophie's last name? It's just B. You don't, you don't know her last name. Just B. Okay. Well, let's see. Babe, you should know these things, okay? Um, alright, Sophie B. Alright, there's 
there's 47,000 Sophie Bs. Can you give me her appearance a little bit? Okay. She looks like me. <laughs> well, that's a good one. You're funny. Are you serious? I'm basically Aphrodite compared to humans. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Stop kidding around. Okay. Oh my gosh, she does look like me. You should be proud of yourself. Okay, well, I found her. Um, alright. I see. Sophie, so where did you meet Sophie? Little Miss Sophie here. You're telling me Little Miss Mousy Mouse? She was at a blind dating session. Where was this? <sighs> okay, alright. Interesting. <laughs> well, when was that? How long have you known Sophie for? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, I take it this is your first official date then? Yeah. Okay. Well, do you know what Sophie likes? Okay. Well, since you don't seem to have spoken to her much, I'm a little skeptical of this, but okay. Let me see. I do have some things based on the application that you sent in. And I figure I could get some ideas for you and we can kind of go from there. Um, and don't worry, I will plan it all. Um, I mean, we together will plan it all, but you know. Alright. Well, so, here we go. I've got plans right here Valentine's Day 2024 brought to you by me Cupid baby all right first and foremost some event ideas all right first one is a restaurant of course and now if you're not gonna do tonight I would um, say, which I really don't think you should, I really don't think you should, but, okay. If you're gonna do this weekend, or next week, depending on what Sophie's schedule is, you could do breakfast, lunch or dinner, maybe a brunch, nice little Beverly Hills brunch. Mm hmm Yeah. You can go to a themed restaurant, or you can go to a non-themed restaurant, okay? So, now, themed restaurants are a little bit iffy because a lot of them are for children, so I'm guessing you probably do not want children <laughs> at your date, right? I mean, what adult without kids wants that? So, um, okay, you could go to the beach. Now, I know it's still winter, but there are some pretty nice beaches, and you do not have to go into the water. Here are some ideas. You could do a picnic you make all of these things together or you can pack them up yourself sandwiches um fruit fruit salad uh, potato salad pasta you know stuff like that okay so um those are pretty simple ideas and when you make something from scratch from the heart oh <laughs> oh trust me that's gonna be a good date 
play volleyball. I don't know if Sophie is much of a sports gal, but who doesn't enjoy volleyball? You could do some shell collecting where you just pick up some shells, you could toss them back, just look at some interesting shells, you know, see what you find there, yeah? You could do some kite flying. Have you ever gone kite flying? It's pretty fun, especially when you have a nice Hello Kitty one. I'm guessing she's a Sanrio girl. We'll get to that later. You could go to a class. You could do pottery. You could have that cute little, oh, let me help you, you know, uh, or not, if you're not that close yet. Uh, you could do a paint and sip, which is very fun. Uh, have you been to one of those? I've been to plenty of them. Oh my god, I love it so much. Basically, it's where you paint and you sip wine. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> you can also have non-alcoholic wine as well if you don't want alcohol. So, some sparkling cider maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a good time, trust me. <sighs> you could do rug making. Rug making. That is so fun and so in right now. Have you seen those TikToks? some really talented people out there and you can go to the places and do them yourself. It's really cool. A little pricey though, but I think it's worth it. And you can also do a language learning class. Have you ever wanted to learn a new language? Because that's a perfect bonding opportunity. I mean, you learn a new language with your partner, partner to be, whatever you guys end up being, you know, and then you start doing study sessions together, right? Bonding. And then, if you get good enough in the language, you guys can, you know, speak in another language to each other. How fun is that? Have little side combos at your family parties and nobody knows what you're saying. That's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lastly, you could do it at your house. You could have her at your house. Make sure you clean, especially if you are sick. And you could do a movie night. You could cook a nice, delicious dinner. Maybe some ravioli, some pasta with white wine sauce, some capers on there. What am I eating tonight? Anyway. Or, I don't know if, uh, you guys uh, partake in this, but you could play some video games together. That's always a good time. Who knows? Maybe she likes Animal Crossing. Maybe she likes Resident Evil. We don't know. You gotta ask her. Anyway, those are just some ideas I'm tossing over to you. Um, but if you're gonna go to restaurants, I've got some ideas for you. But this is where I'm gonna really you to think about it. If you're gonna go out to a restaurant, here's some ideas. Now, I've got four major categories of restaurants, okay? And this is non-themed. You've got your fast food, right? So, McDonald's, uh, In-N-Out, Wendy's, Burger King, you know? You've got your casual dining, which is Olive Garden, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, Outback Steakhouse, Applebee's, chilies. You've got fast casual, my favorite on a busy day. Chipotle, Panera, Blaze Pizza, and my personal favorite, Sweet Green. Oh my god. And then you've got your fine dining, okay? Fine dining is, um, well, it's gonna be expensive, but if you're just either you pick Sophie up. Or you meet her at the restaurant. Um, it's just gonna be that one thing, and then you either bring her back home, or you say goodbye at the restaurant, and bam, there you go. Easy peasy. But some ideas are Santa Olina, which is in Beverly Hills. I've been there myself. I actually dined right next to Big Sean. It was incredible. Yes, Janae, I go as absolutely stunning, flawless, and the view was good too. Um, there's Katsuya, a Japanese 
cuisine. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. There's, oh, if she's vegan, Crossroads Kitchen. Very, very beautiful. Um, so here's Santolina, just so that you can see what it looks like. It is just as beautiful as the pictures here. So, uh, yep, that's all Beverly Hills over there. It is just stunning. You've got Crossroads Kitchen here, which is uh, absolutely amazing. I've never been there myself, uh, but I've heard nothing but incredible things. And then you've got, uh, what is this? Is this more Crossroads? Yes, this is more Crossroads. It's vegan. It's all vegan. You wouldn't know it. And then there's, uh, there's Nick's on Beverly, which, if you really do want to go the Beverly Hills route, Nick's on Beverly is amazing. There's this beautiful tree in the middle of the outdoor dining session, and it's, oh my gosh, the light's just dripping down from it. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. So, um, we'll get, you know, we'll get back to that. I did kind of want to, uh, talk about your outfit, yeah. Yeah, your outfit. You're not wearing that, right? Okay, good. So, what were you thinking of wearing? Mm. Okay. Well, I have a few ideas. You know, you could. Casual, um, which is more for home, but even still, if you are trying to dress to impress, I would suggest not doing casual. But it's up to you, it's your own personal style and what you want to do. But I'm gonna measure you a little bit, okay? Take down some measurements and I'll, uh, I'll talk about style. thinking you could wear red, red and black, be a little bold, you know, if you always dress in all blacks or all whites or maybe neutrals, do something a little different. I was thinking, I was thinking either a black jacket, you know, a dress jacket with a red down. Maybe even a dark red, a nice romantic red. Or I was thinking a black turtleneck with a red jacket. You could put a little corsage on there. Beautiful. I mean, the corsage really just depends on like? What's her temperament like? You know, what is she, what is she like? Tell me about her. I can look at her profile right there, but I want to hear from you. Yeah, she does seem like the quiet type. Uh, nothing wrong with that. It's, uh, it's very rewarding, I would say. Honestly, when somebody's a little bit quiet, um, because when they do 
I'll finally start kind of talking to you. It's like, wow, I like cracked the code, you know? It feels really good, so nothing wrong with a quiet gal. You do have the face, and I guess the bod, so that's good. for like a, a gift or maybe some flowers or something. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, I've definitely got some ideas we can go over after I'm done measuring you. Well, I mean, you walked in here when my little boo was calling. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing tonight. I'm a little nervous. It's a first date. Well, as I said, this is, uh, this is my holiday. It's, um, you know, usually people are ready at this time. They're on their date. Um, I still have clients to 
from about midnight and that's when, you know, turns to February 15th and I'm good, I'm out of here. Which is what I'm doing. Um, probably gonna ask for some pasta if I'm being honest. Yeah, I've been craving pasta. Like, I think I just... Mama needs the carbs, you know? Oh, with a white wine sauce. Don't even look at me. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. And if I don't get it, I'll make it myself. I don't care. I'm in dire need. Speaking of, do you know if Sophie's vegan or not? She's probably vegan. I can double check her file for you if you want. Yeah, okay. Just thought I say if you've been to restaurants with her before try cooking a nice home cooked meal hey you're really looking pale are you sure you're good okay okay yeah no that's that's fine I just you know I'm sure she won't mind if you have a nice little time after, you know, after you're, you know, feeling better and everything, but who knows, she might even, uh, she might even take care of you. That'll show you that she really cares about you. Right, so that's, that's a good sign, but, you know, you don't want to put her in a position where she might get sick, so you better be careful. But, knows, I guess we'll have to see. Have you, uh, been to either, uh, one of your places before? No. I'd love to be a fly on the wall for your date. Honestly, you know what I might actually be? I might be there. I want to see what you're able to, uh, pull off. Yeah, and I know, I know Sophie's quiet. Seems like she likes the challenge. So that's good. Just about done here. Alright. Stand very still here. Bring her some chocolates. Well, might have some chocolates. I do have some chocolates, I do. Okay. Okay. Here we go, one last. red on black. Maybe some black pants. An all black outfit is very nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, I'm thinking a red jacket. Mm-hmm. Black turtleneck. It'll be a very loose turtleneck. Um... Elongate that neck that you've got there and show off that jawline a bit, which is good. And then I was thinking some black pants and maybe some red shoes. Yeah, we could also do cream pants and black shoes. 
or red juice, doesn't really matter. You have your own juice. on my day. Okay, I'm thinking. Okay. What are we thinking here? Beautiful beautiful jacket. Sorry, I have a dog. So, I'm thinking, um, you know, you could have this on you. And she can take it and pull you closer, you know, go in for the kiss. Underneath, we've got a very nice You look absolutely marvelous. You look great. And this collar is like, it's really suiting you. It's really doing something for you. Okay, good, good, good. Um, well, um, what do you think? Take a look at yourself. You like it? Okay, for sure. Alright, well, let me go ahead and take it off really quick for you. Goodness, I'm hungry. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the agenda once more. Okay, I see. So, we're going to look at theme now, okay? So, I've got a few themes for you here. This is really up to you. Um, this is mainly for if you are doing it at home, um, or, uh, if you're looking to center your date around the theme. Perhaps some themed restaurants, yeah. So, uh, there's a dark academic 
academia. It's very moody, sort of library feels, lots of candles, lots of uh, dark greenery. I think cloudy. I, I think I've got some examples here. Do you see? Yeah. Very moody, very moody. almost feels nostalgic for fall time. And then we've got Sanrio, which I, I think, like I said, we will get back to that. So, Sanrio, which is Hello Kitty, My Melody, Kuromi, and Cinema Roll. Uh, you could take her to the Irvine Spectrum if you aren't uh, scared of a little drive or wait. Um, there is a Hello Kitty themed cafe. I mean, take a look at that. That is every Sanrio girl's dream. there, it's very beautiful there, and if you're gonna take her there, you need to know Sanrio characters, so, um, you know who Hello Kitty is, of course, but this one right here, this is my melody, the pink one. is cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Like cinnamon roll, but it's just one word. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Got it. And then this one right here, this little cutie, that's Kuromi. That's Kuromi. Now, a lot of times you're gonna see my melody and Kuromi together. Okay, they kind of, they kind of go in. Be prepared to see them together a lot. Or if you're gonna buy her some gifts and you're thinking my melody, you gotta go with the Kuromi too. You got it, they're a package deal. You gotta just, you know. So then there's a cottage core, a lot of pastels, greenery, flowers. A very, um, Woodland fairyish, you know. So she likes that type of feel. And then there is minimalism, and this is also for if you are uh, bringing the party to your place. Um, do you have a minimalist feel to your house? Are you going to a more minimalist? Um, there's gonna be a lot more neutrals, clean, open spaces, uh, fresh, bright light seeping in, lots of natural light. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot of symmetry as well, just very visually pleasing, very aesthetic, um, but some would argue, and, and I would kind of agree, um, Lacking in a bit of character. Right? Lacking in a bit of character. Now, there's nothing wrong with minimalism. Uh, in fact, it can be really good for uh, decluttering your mind. It's always a good thing. But it's always good if you're gonna decorate your house minimalist uh, to have a little bit of yourself in there. Make it look like somebody lives there. So, that's just my two cents. Now, then there's color palette, so this is also gonna come with, um, a 
mean, this is mainly for like your card. If you're gonna give her some flowers, maybe some, um, I don't know, balloons or something. I don't know. Color palette. Now, we've got blushing blues. Blushing blues. We've got We've got romantic reds, romantic reds, romantic reds, and creamy carnations, creamy carnations. All very beautiful, really up to what you think your date will like the most, um, but if I could personally suggest one, I would either blushing blues or the romantic reds. Okay. Although myself, for myself personally, I think you can tell I like the uh, creamy carnation. So, now we already did outfits, so I think, I think that's pretty good. Um, I need Sophie B's file. Mm -hmm. Yes, the quiet one. Can you give me that? Just send it over Discord. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to open up my email right now. It's 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 flooded. Actually, can you go through my emails? You're headed out. Okay, that's fine. No, 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 no. don't stay. Don't stay longer. You got a hot date tonight. And the waifu's not bad. I might be joining you tonight. Dang. Sounds like a good night. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. It's my assistant. Sorry. Uh, so, she's gonna send me Sophie's file, and she already did. Okay, perfect. So, she is a Sanrio girl. Mm-hmm. And, uh... She's gonna like the... <sighs> it's a bit conflicting. She's a Sanrio girl, but she likes the dark academia. Mm-hmm. She's kind of a... kind of a mix, you know? She likes pinks and purples. She likes the dark academia, so maybe a nice little mixture of the two, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see. She also likes lavender. No. No. Presentation there that I had for you. <sighs> Let's see, where is my Google Drive? Google Drive, Google Drive. I 
Yes, yes, even Cupid uses cool drive. I see. Tell me phone. I see. going to be very helpful for you, so I have some ideas for your flowers um, what kind of flowers were you thinking of getting her? okay, so of course I, it should always come from the heart nothing wrong with some good suggestions, okay? So, I have roses here, but it's very classic, nothing wrong with it, but it's also a bit boring, done before. It's a good gesture, very nice, but you could also say a little extra, hey, I know you. We've got some tulips. Tulips are absolutely stunning. Very, very beautiful. We have some peonies, which are my personal favorite flower, my personal favorite. Love them, love them, love them. You could also do, and this is kind of what I'm leaning more towards, a dried bouquet. Now this is going to last a million times longer because it's already dried out, right? But there's also really good uses for it, okay? So, you saw nice little baggie of lavender, right? Well, what if I told you you could make sure she has her own little baggie of lavender? So, back there, I'm sure you see it. There is a nice, beautiful, dried bouquet. It's very classic, so um, this is going to be people putting eucalyptus in their shower? Mm-hmm, exactly. So, dried eucalyptus right here. Give it a whiff. Oh, very beautiful, especially, especially next to the lavender. Now, as the lavender falls off, she can into a nice little sachet, put it under her bed, put it into her bath, into her lattes, you can make her the lattes, and she'll think of you every time she looks at them. So what do you say? And it's already ready to go. Smells like my childhood. Yes, mother did a lot of aromatherapy for me. <sighs> okay. You want to go with this? Okay, now let's talk chocolate. Mm -hmm. 
some blend groovy truffles in here. A beautiful box. Would you like me to redo the flavors? Yeah, okay. Milk, chocolate, of course. And then there's extra. Delicious. Dark caramel truffle. Dark chocolate truffle. And white chocolate truffle. You want to give these to her? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. In terms of the way you smell, you, know, you smell fine, but you gotta smell more than fine. You gotta smell irresistible. Like me. Smell me. I know. Listen, I got a date tonight. You can't fall in love with me now. I've got a few here. And you can keep the whole bottle. When you decide now, this one is Tommy Palama Maritime. Okay, so here it is, and I can give you a little so that you can smell it, or you can actually just smell it like this. Okay, can you smell it? What do you think? scent it fades very peacefully it's a very nice fade you like that one okay now the next one is called awaken oh, let's see it's a little strong Once again, a very, um, classic cologne smell, but, you know, the one where you're in public, maybe in the subway, and somebody gets on, and everyone on the train, I mean, everyone smells them. This is the one. Okay. Now I've got a final one for you. And this one is sweet. Sweet for your sweetheart. This one is um different. Very different. We both have dates. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna spray some on you now, okay? Okay. <gasps> Alright, you ready? Okay. Now, give me your wrist. The rest doesn't matter, you're just gonna rub them together anyway. Okay. Ready? In 
You're gonna smell like this for the rest of the day. Here you go. All right, perfect. Now, I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something. Your gifts. Were you planning on give her any, giving her any gifts? Just the chocolate. Well, what if I told you? And a little something. Yeah. Okay, all right. Don't worry, I've got a little something for you, too. No, Sophie's a Sanrio girl. She likes cute things. So, I've got you two different things here. You can choose one, the other, or both of them. I say both. Here. This is a she sits atop a crescent moon with some pink clouds and stars. She's got cute little pajama nighty on with her star wand. What do you think? Personally, I think Sophie would love her. Yes, uh, she is from Japan. Yep, bought her myself. What do you say? Crochet bear with a little pink bow tie. This is bound to make anyone blush. What do you think? Handmade. Mm hmm. Yep. Do you have a preference or do you want to go with both? Both? Perfect. Sounds good. It's gonna be difficult parting with them, but I must do it. I must do it. Well, I've got your little care package here. And don't think I forgot about you. This is. give this to anyone else because you're gonna fall in love with them. That's, uh, that's how it works. Uh, it only works with your own natural charisma, so it's not gonna make you irresistible to just anybody. This is, um, it just amps up your own natural charisma, like I said. And so, it's a, it's a bit of boost of confidence, so it's not guaranteed, but it's definitely helpful. Oh, yeah. What do you say? I want to give it a try. Now, the more you drink, the more confident you become, but a little goes a long way. Might I suggest taking a little sip of it? Maybe this evening? See how you feel. Look at yourself in the mirror. You know, just 
riff a little bit, say a few lines, you know, prep yourself. See how it affects you. This is my own home brew. Oh, I make millions of these in a month. I sell it online. Yep. But, uh, this is, a uh, This is a little bit of a special batch. I did put in some glitter in there just to get a little extra spice. So, this might make you a little more feisty in your personality. So what do you say? You'll take it. I knew you would. Well, is there anything else that I can help you with? <sighs> yes, okay. She's a crystal girl. You're gonna wanna give her this crystal. No, just don't drop it. Might I suggest putting it in the moonlight? Let me tell you where the moon is right now. The full moon is in 11 days, so you can wait to give this to her. Moon, 11 days. Okay, don't forget it. You can look it up online too. Put this under the full moon. Yeah. Tell her you've charged it. Give it to her. Um, she might not care. She might just cleanse it and charge it anyway. If I can make a suggestion, plan a date for the full moon. Give it to her then. She'll know what to do cleanse it, and then charge it. Okay. Anything else? You're gonna do great. You're gonna do fine. Okay. All right. your little care package. Please be careful. Here you go. Just please be careful with all of this, okay? Here you go. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Whoa, don't drop it. You good? Okay. You need a little pep talk? will help you with your confidence, okay? But make sure that you are monitoring the things that you think when you're under the influence of the potion because you should apply that thinking into your daily life when you're not on the potion. Confidence is key. And it doesn't even have to be real, okay? The thing about confidence is that nobody knows if it's real or not. They just see confidence. So, be confident. Got it? You've got this. I believe in you. Okay. Now, 
or maybe not. All right. Yes, I'm off of work. Do you want to come pick me up? Oh, you've sent a car. My goodness, I'm coming.